Hi, this is Mark. So as you can see in front of us, we have our brand new voltage regulator and uh, we have a variac on there. That's going to allow us to adjust to whatever voltage we want. In this case, we're, we're asking for 208 volts. And that is the uh, alternator, of course, that is giving us the output. We have it Y connected. It is taking between 380 and 390 milliamps of field current in order to produce that 208 volts. Now something else we have on here is we also have the variac on the main supply. That variac can also be adjusted because that's adjusting the resistance in our field. If we increase the resistance, that's less current flowing to the field, which means we actually generate less voltage. But I can adjust that as well in order to bring up that voltage back to the expected 208 volts line to line. Something else that's important is that we always maintain rated speed. So rated speed in the case of this a generator is, or alternator rather, is uh, 2500 revolutions per minute. Now we have hooked up as well resistive load and inductive load. Now none of it's on, but what we're showing you right now is that in a regular circumstance we're actually going to be producing uh, about close to that 400 milliamps in order, with rated speed rather, in order to keep that 208 volts, and that's with uh, 200 uh, milliamps of resistive load. Now if we go and if we turn on some inductive load instead, in other words, turn the resistive load off, then turn the inductive load on, the, the same current, 200 milliamps of inductive load, take a look at what happens to our voltmeter. Our voltmeter dropped by 4 volts, and look what happened to the field current. We're still at rated speed here, which is what we're showing you, but look at how many milliamps of current. We went up over 300 milliamps to try and maintain rated voltage, which brings us to the question, why did the voltage drop by 4 volts? So clearly what happened is we dropped 4 volts. That's easy enough to adjust back up by adjusting either the variac on the AVR or, of course, the potentiometer on the alternator itself. Now, we're actually at 400 and almost 450 milliamps by doing that. In other words, to bring that voltage back up, we asked the voltage regulator to increase the field current even more to generate that voltage. Now, that really means, you know, and there's a reason for that. Your armature conductors, remember, is, is what, those are the conductors that carry all your current. So if you have an inductive load hooked up, there's a very large magnetic field around that, uh, around the armature windings. That magnetic field is actually opposite in polarity to the magnetic field being produced by the alternator. So it technically depletes the field. When you deplete the field, there's less lines of force to cut. Those alternator windings are, are not cutting as many lines of force because the overall field's been depleted. That means we have to make that up somehow. Uh, the AVR tries by in, you know, sending more current to the field, but at the end of the day, we actually have to adjust the uh, variac on the AVR in order to get it to, uh, or ask it rather, to bring up that voltage to 208 volts.